Hi everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, I am continuing line graph data interpretation. Here, the first we need to see the information which is provided in the line graph data interpretation. After that, based on the information, we need to solve the questions according to that. See, first of all, the information is about uh, profit percentage, percent profit or profit percentage made by two companies over the years. Here the information is very simple to understand uh, profit percentage values are given. Profit percentage values by two companies, company A and company B. These are the two companies over the years. Over the years in the sense that is uh, from 2004 to 2009. That is 2004, 2005, 2006, 2007, 2008 and 2009. Whatever the values which are provided in this line graph, all the values are percentage values all the values are percentage values and that to profit percentage values that to profit percentage values of a company a and b and uh, each and every year from 2004 to 2009 total six years are provided in this uh, line graph data interpretation this is the information about uh, this particular graph and uh, along with this information we have Another information that is uh, formula profit percentage is equal to here profit percentage is equal to income minus expenditure divided by expenditure into 100 that is the formula for profit percentage remember when you are calculating the profit percentage always we need to uh, take that profit percentage over expenditure only over expenditure always we need to calculate the profit percentage over expenditure not over income that is the first and foremost important point that you need to remember right and next uh, uh, whenever if you don't know any kind of value always consider the expenditure value is 100 percentage expenditure value is 100 percentage if expenditure is 100 percentage suppose for example there is a profit of 20 percentage share then the income value must be 120 percentage income value is 120 percentage why because income is equal to expenditure plus profit income is equal to expenditure plus profit and from this you will get profit is equal to income minus expenditure from this profit is equal to income minus uh, expenditure that is the formula for profit in this way you can calculate whether if you want to if you want income if you want expenditure if you want uh, profit here from this expenditure is equal to income minus profit income minus profit so out of three variables if you want to know any one variable it is very easy to calculate right uh, by using these three if you know any two variables out of three that is very easy to calculate a uh, third variable this is the complete information about uh, this particular line graph along with that uh, uh, information he also mentioned about formula right that is the information now look at the first question here the first question is if in the year 2004 here we are talking about the year 2004 that is the first year first year the expenditure incurred by company a and b was same here expenditure of company a and company b both are same so let us consider expenditure of a and expenditure of b both are equal that is 100 100 for the time being I just know I said that always you need to consider expenditure as 100 not the income why because uh, you are calculating profit percentage over expenditure not over income that is the reason why always you need to consider expenditure as uh, 100 here according to this statement uh, expenditure of company in the year 2004 that is uh, same Therefore, you can consider company A expenditure, company B expenditure, which is equal to 100, 100. And now coming to the 
profit percentages here the company a which represents rhombus shape that is uh, this one this is uh, company a is between 30 and 40 therefore this is 35 whereas company b is square shape which is uh, exactly 40 percentage company a is 35 percentage company b is uh, 40 percentage now if the profits values if the profit values are 35 percentage and profit percent uh, 40 percentage then income of a and income of b income of a is uh, 135 why because here the expenditure is 30 and profit which is mentioned in the uh, graph that is 35 and here the profit is 40 therefore income value is 140 here the income value is 140 now the question what he is asking is what is the respective ratio of income of company A and B in that year in that year in the sense in the year 2004 only in the year 2004 what is the ratio of income of company A and income of company B that ratio you need to calculate in the year 2004 just now we got the values of incomes one is 135 income of company a is 135 income of company b is 140 so take the uh, cancellation with uh, 5 table 5 2 sir 5 7 sir and next 5 2 sir 5 8 times therefore the required ratio of incomes of a and b that is 27 is to 28 for the year 2004. In 2004, the ratio of incomes of A and B which is 27 is to 28. That is uh, option A. Among the options, option A is the right answer for this question. Option A. Let us look at the second question. Here the second question is, if the amount of profit earned by company A in the year 2007. Here we are talking about company A and the year is 2007 and we are talking about profit. Profit is equal to once uh, check it out uh, 2007. This is 2007 and company A. Company A is representing rhombus shape. So here company A value is 40 percentage profit percentage is 40 percentage this 40 percentage value is given which is 1.5 lakhs 40 percentage value is 1.5 lakhs now you need to calculate what was its expenditure in that year here you need to calculate company a 2007 expenditure Always you need to consider expenditure as 100% by default. Why? Because you are calculating profit percentage over expenditure. Therefore, expenditure value is 100%. We got 40% value is equal to 1.5 lakhs. Now you need to calculate 100% is equal to what is the answer. Right? Here we just do the cross multiplication. 1.5 into 100 divided by 40 0 0 gets cancelled which is equal to 1.5 into 10 that is 15 15 by 4 15 by 4 is equal to how much it is company a 2007 expenditure which is equal to 4 3 is 12 4 3 is 12 and next 3 is left over point 30 30 means uh, 7 times and next uh, 5 times 3.75 lakhs 3.75 lakhs that is the expenditure of company a in the year 2007 in the year 2007 expenditure of company a which is equal to 3.75 lakhs once look at the options here 3.75 that is option d option d is the right answer for this question option d Look at the third question. Here the third question is, what is the average percent profit? What is the average percent profit earned by company B over all the years together? 
here we need to calculate the profit percentage of company p over all the years first i will write down all the values here here it is 40 and it is between 40 and 50 therefore it is 45 company p is indicating square shape right here it is 40 again and it is between 30 and 40 which is 35 and it is 30 and this is between 40 and 50 which is equal to 45 these are the profit percentages now as we are calculating the average as we all know that average is equal to sum of observations average is equal to sum of observations divided by number of observations average is equal to sum of observations divided by number of observations here what is sum of observations sum of observations is nothing but sum of profit percentage values sum of profit percentage values of a company b company b over all the years divided by number of years divided by number of years that is the denominator value now from this it is very easy to calculate the average required average value now you just uh, note down all the values here the first profit percentage 40 and then 45 again 40 and next 35 followed by 30 and at last uh, 45 divided by number of years here we have taken 1 2 3 4 5 6 total 6 years therefore the denominator value is 6 therefore the required average which is equal to once add all the values what you will get here it is 40 40 80 80 40 120 120 again one more 40 35 plus 5 40 160 160 plus 40 200 200 plus 30 plus 5 35 235 235 divided by 6 which is equal to here it is uh, 3 times 6 3 is 18 and still it is left over with 5 55 55 means 6 9 sir 6 9 sir 54 still you are left over with 1 1 by 6 therefore the required average is equal to 39 1 by 6 percentage that is the average percentage profit earned by company b over all the years together which is 39 1 by 6 among the options 39 1 by 6 which is option c option c is the right answer for this question next fourth question see here if in the year 2008 here we are talking about 2008 in the year 2008 the income of both the companies A and B was same. Now, in this question, he is saying that income of both the companies are equal, not the expenditures. So many students, what they will do is, they will take uh, both companies' incomes as 100 and 100. That is wrong way of taking the perception of uh, taking the values. Why? Because always you need to consider expenditures as 100 but not the incomes why because profit percentage is always calculated over expenditure not over income that is the reason why you should not consider like that in that scenario what we have to do is uh, let us consider expenditure of company a as 100a whereas expenditure of company b which is equal to 100b expenditure of company b that is 100 b now these two values are not equal we are not taking expenditure values are equal now after that uh, we are talking about 2008 in 2008 company a this is company a and the profit is 50 percentage and this is company b and the profit is 30 percentage now you can apply these two values over there you will get the incomes income of company a and uh, income of company a is equal to how much it is here the profit is 50 percentage therefore expenditure is 100 a profit is 50 percentage therefore income is equal to 150 a similarly income of company b is equal to here the expenditure is 100 b 
and the profit which is given in the line graph that is 30 percentage therefore this value becomes 130 b now according to the given condition income of company a is equal to income of company b now you just equate these two values income of company a and income of company b which is 150 a is equal to 130 b here 0 0 gets cancelled now it is a by b is equal to a by b is equal to 13 by 15 that means uh, a is to b which is equal to 13 is to 15 a is to b is nothing but here as for the calculation purpose we are taking the values as 100a 100b but if you are taking the ratio it is just a is to b a is to b is equal to 13 is to 15 here the question is also asking about what is the respective ratio of expenditure of company a to the expenditure of company b in that year that is 13 is to 15 13 is to 15 which is option c option c is the right answer for this question here when you are solving the uh, problems related to incomes are equal always consider expenditures are 100a and 100b after that based on the profit percentage you need to take the income values of company a and company b after that equate those two values you will get the ratio of uh, expenditures a is to b which is equal to 13 is to 15 option c is the right answer for this question now see the last question in this uh, session see here last question fifth one what is the respective ratio of the amount of profit earned by company a and company b in the year 2009 here in 2009 if you observe carefully company a profit percentage is 30 percentage company b profit percentage is 45 percentage right this is company b and this is company a now according to the given question amount of profit if you want the amount of profit amount of profit of a company a amount of profit of company a is equal to company a profit is 30 percentage always profit percentage will be calculated over expenditure 30 percentage of expenditure of company a similarly amount of profit amount of profit of company b which is equal to here it is 45 percentage 45 percentage of expenditure of a company b expenditure of company b but in order to get these two values amount of profit of a and amount of profit of b you must know the value of expenditure of a and expenditure of b without knowing these two values it is not possible to calculate the amounts of profits of a and b so it is uh, not possible to calculate the exact amounts of profits of company a and company b in any of the year not only in the year 2009 in any of the year the exact values are not possible to calculate okay so even though if you are taking the ratio here you can able to cancel these values but it is not possible to cancel expenditure of A and expenditure of B. Why? Because those values are not equal. Right? We should not make them as equal. Right? According to that, uh, so it is not possible to calculate the answer. Therefore, the required answer which you have to keep is uh, cannot be determined. Cannot be determined. That is our required answer for this question. Cannot be determined. Once look at the options, among the options, uh, option D is the right answer for this question, option D. In this way, you need to solve the questions related to uh, this kind of uh, profit percentage values. Uh, I hope you understand each and every problem in this session and then thank you. Thanks for watching.